Hey guys, welcome back to Henry's at the Hotel Durant. My name is Anna, I do the cocktail program here, and today we're going to be um, making an old Cuban, which has been one of my new favorite cocktails. It's nice and sweet and summery, it's perfect for July and August, and um, it's a little minty, so you're gonna kind of get a mojito aspect to it as well, which is really fun. Um, so why don't we just go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a champagne flute. It's just a very nice presentation. You'll be able to kind of taste everything in it. Um, we will chill it down so it's nice and cold. Because the colder the drink, the better it is and the longer the last. So we'll just go ahead and put that off to the side while we start. Um, we're going to use Zaya, which is one of my favorite rums. It's very versatile. It's um, aged 12 years in oak barrels, so you're going to kind of get a little bit of an oakiness to it, but it's probably more sweet than anything. It comes out of Trinidad, and I think actually California imports it, so it's kind of nice and get a semi-local experience to it. Um, we're going to use one and a half ounces of Zaya. We'll do about... Um, over half an ounce of lime juice. Which equals to about one lime squeeze, which is nice. And then we'll go ahead and equal that out with the same amount of simple syrup, because limes are very tart. So we'll do about an ounce of simple syrup. Simple syrup's just a very simple, uh, hence the name, uh, sugar and water solution. It's basically equal parts water to sugar, so it's really easy to make at home, too. We'll do about two ounces of Angostura bitters, or aromatic bitters. And then we're gonna take some mint, and we wanna muddle it up just a little bit to get the flavor. Some people like to add it at the end. I like to bring it in at the beginning so all the oils get sucked up nice, nice and fresh. You don't need very much mint, because the more mint that you put in, the kind of more bitter it gets. So maybe just enough for one, one stem full. And you want to save the tops of them for garnishing. That's the prettiest part of it. You just want to muddle it a little bit, not too much. Because again, it gets a little bit bitter the more the longer you muddle it. Give it a good shake. And the ice is great too because it'll also help muddle your lime, so you really don't need to muddle it that much. Alright, let's go ahead and dump this out. Take our strainer, strain right into the glass. It's a nice reddish brown color. Some people like to double strain their cocktails, which is totally fine. It takes a little bit of water out, but we're going to leave it in. Because again, we want our drink nice and cold. And we're going to be using a VC Prosecco, which is a nice Prosecco. It's very light and mild. Um, it's our house Prosecco here, so it's favorite part too, I love that, that pop. Now we're just going to top this drink off with some Prosecco. Get it nice and bubbly. And then we'll do is we'll get a nice cute little garnish on. I want to find some good mint. It's more leaves on top, the prettier it looks. Give it a nice little twist. And there you have it, an old Cuban. Thank you again for joining us this week. My name is Anna here at Henry's in the Hotel Durant, and we'll see you next week.